All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Been meaning to make this video for a little bit of a while now. Really had the time to get around to it, so we're just gonna film it now. Um, feeling a little sick under the weather, so I'm trying to social distance, but honestly, at this point, I've been in my room for like the last week, and I don't know, I needed to get out. So I'm kind of in like this corner of the parking lot. Hopefully, I can keep my distance from people get a little bit of fresh air, uh, film my video, and then, yeah, I'll be on my way. But either way, this is gonna be me walking around the car for a sec with all of the stickers on it. So, I know I've kind of like shown this on Instagram at least a few times at this point, and it was actually in another video, but I actually haven't released that video. I'm like so behind on everything editing-wise, so. So the reason I sticker the car up is I actually went on a track day with Samantha Tan and her like racing team and a bunch of friends so I don't know if I'll end up putting that video online at some point maybe I will but uh, yeah it's coming So it's coming, I don't know. Um, I have no ETA on when that video will be finished. But either way, uh, that's the reason the stickers are on the car. Um, I kind of just like started doing it just because I figured I could. Um, and then I got a little carried away. Yeah, a lot of the stickers, um, well, let me back up for a second. It probably took a total of like a day and a half to do. Um, got a little carried away and yeah, I probably just went a little overboard, but anyway, I'm talking a bit much. I'm just gonna show you the car. So this is kind of like the main objective for a lot of the stickers I did. I basically tried to take like pre-existing logos uh, and put my own spin on them. So I don't actually know what all of the logos are. Like this one series one, I forget what the actual brand is, but this is like the Panatec like logo down there. Um, they make, I think, steering wheels mainly, um, and I changed it to pathetic. So that was kind of like the point of all the stickers, is I would take the logo, change the logo into something that meant something to the car or was funny, um, and then put it on there and pretend it looked like a race car. And that was kind of the main idea, was to make this car look a little bit more like a race car, because there isn't a lot of like performance mods or anything on the car. Yeah, so it just looked a little bit more appropriate at a racetrack. And so that was the goal with this one here. Instead of Mobile One, it's um, Oil, which kind of thought was funny. Um, all of these are Fender stuff, which I was actually trying to do like the off-white um, like style. They kind of like did that like quotes thing. So that says mirror, each side says door. I got Fender on all four of the Fenders. This one's got hood or a trunk, it says hood in the front. And the main reason I did those um, was actually just because I thought it would be funny and look cool in the car. And then I realized that the uh, main guy who created that style, and so he was doing like all of the block letters with the quotes, um, ended up passing away like the day I finished the car. So I kind of felt bad, but at the same time it was like a tribute thing. So I don't know, it just kind of ended up that that, that that would happen, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a character touch to the car, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I figured that was kind of nice that's on the car. I also did the same for up top. I named this a quote-unquote race car, thought that was kind of funny. Um, and then as a little bit of an extra flair on the funny end, this passenger seat is human, but if you look on my side, it says I'm a godlike racing machine. So yeah, you know, you gotta give yourself some titles every now and then. Um, you know, fake confidence and all that. And yeah, anyway, basically what's on here currently is Instead of Red Bull, it's a red E82, and that's because the paint color of the car is red, and the chassis number is an 80E82, um, so this is just like a BMW E82. Um, STR Motorsports, that's actually not changed at all. Um, that's Samantha Tan Racing, 38's their number. Motorsports, figured I'd keep that in because that was their track day. Uh, same with their logo down below. This one says one series because I couldn't afford a 1M. Very accurate. I uh, thought it was funny, so I put it on there. Also, you needed a sticker in order to hop on the track, so I made my own. Again, E82. So I just decided to take the 82 and make that my car number. Put my logo down below. EMR, there was supposed to be like a little bit of line of text below there, but the actual letters became so small that they like 
were falling off and I couldn't actually get them on the transfer tape so I just didn't bother uh, but VMR things the wheels are VMRs I thought about doing like a cool like VMR like if that acronym meant something else but I couldn't think of anything so I just put things um, I put stickers there for a race car people seem to get a kick out of that one I don't like the placement of it but uh, I mean in concept it's kind of a funny logo, so I threw it on there. It's not really a logo, but stickers anyway. Also, it bothers the crap out of me. I'm noticing it now again. Um, the font sizes are this, not the same. So I actually had to cut these in different passes just because it wouldn't all fit in like one cut. Um, and I cut them out of order too. So I would like cut the stickers and then I would end up doing like a panel as well. Um, and then what that meant was I actually changed the percentages from like slightly smaller just to make those print and then I had to go back to the words and it just didn't end up like matching so that really ticks me off but either way it's all kind of bunk and uh, so it kind of like speaks to the car pathetic we already talked about I'm pretty pathetic on track so I thought that would fit because race car I quite like that one um, and it actually looks like a legit logo too the tire guide there is actually the inverse of this one I felt like the car needed more stickers so I just like took the inverse of it um, but yeah, another um oil, slightly larger than the one in front, and tire guy instead of Michelin man. Thought that was kind of funny as well. Uh, what else have we got? Kind of walking around. I'll save the rear for last. Um, and the gas cap too. I did put my name on both sides of the car. Um, I'll do the other side actually. This one didn't lay down perfectly level. Still bothers me. Again, I'm like a perfectionist, but not a practicing one. So I'll like have the right idea in my mind, but then I'll like fall short on the execution. Really need to fix that. Yeah, so here's my name on the car. Really happy with how this turned out. The stars actually ended up cutting. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they cut pretty well and then they laid down and they haven't like peeled up at all. So that's pretty see it, solid. It's been raining too. Um, sorry, the car's a bit dirty as well. Five horsepower, don't like the linemen on that. I put the fender down after. Uh, didn't realize I was gonna do them. Uh, anyway, this should be like here. Eh, it's so jank anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's see, this was supposed to be reversed so that in the mirror it actually reads that way. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Fills up the space quite nice though. And I should also mention, should also mention that I didn't measure any of the placement on any of these. I didn't get a level out. I didn't do any of that. Um, it was so late at night that I just didn't even bother. Just started eyeballing stuff and sticking down on the car. I think I've done a pretty decent job. Like I'm looking at this hood one and it's slightly off, but like you wouldn't really tell. And even like all the way up to the race car up top, that looks pretty centered as well. I mean, I've pretty, done a decent job. This five horsepower one here, I kind of like it, but I wish it was way bigger and filled out like this entire space. Uh, anyway, these were kind of convenient. I needed like a tow hook on the car, which by the way, this was the third tow hook I bought. Um, didn't end up actually using it, but of course you need to have it. Third one I bought finally fit on the car. Also arrived like the night before I was supposed to leave. That was clutch. Um, left it on the car because I think it looks cool. It's not that expensive, but someone in theory could steal it. Uh, toe, and then actually I took the lettering from the inside and put it on the back of the car, uh, just in case. Finally found uh, like my Instagram handle and decided to put it on there. I don't have one of the car. And honestly, I didn't have a handle on the car for the longest time. I really should put a better Instagram handle on, but really they normally go like here, but I don't want to remove the, like my name quite yet. Um, but yeah, so I, I would like to put another Instagram handle, at least either on the back or on the other side of the car too, because people do take photos of it. It'd be nice if they tag me just so I get the, see what their reactions are like um we'll make our way to the gas cap last but the last ones on the back of the car are here so i have one of course the inverse toe this one that says how's my driving 1-800 too slow i don't know it's not my favorite one but it's on the car this is my second to favorite one not a 1m i kind of like that because it's obvious that the car is not a 1m you know and i'm not like trying to pretend that it is so it's kind of like self-aware in a way, but 
I like that sticker, and it's where the badge should be, so it kind of like fits, and the lettering looks right. Yeah, so you know, if I end up taking all of the stickers off, I'm leaving that one on. Um, and then probably my favorite sticker on the entire car is this one here. It's missing a couple of letters, unfortunately, and you'll notice it's a lot of like unlevel, awkward placement, and that's because it was the last one to go on, and it had to go on in like three separate passes. So there was no lining it up, there was no like, taping it off to make sure it was like straight. Um, I just kind of stuck it on there and was tired of it anyway. So this is the one. So it says obsessive consumption disorder, otherwise known as OCD. Um, yeah, an involuntary necessity to consume based on an underlying persuasive factor, in most cases a heavy right foot. And I put that over the uh, gas cap just because I figured like, I don't know, the car consumes a lot of gas. Yeah, so I kind of thought that one was funny. Thought I'd stick it on there. Um, and that pretty much wraps up all the stickers on the car, though they don't have to be done going on the car. So I, I've kind of just decided I'm gonna leave it this way. Um, I discovered already by taking one of the stickers off that it takes way longer than I thought to pull them off, which has me slightly worried. Um, I'm kind of afraid that, I don't know, I'm gonna develop like sunspots or something on the paint. But then again, I think the paint technology's come a long way to where as long as this car's in the shade like most of the day, it shouldn't be a problem. But I do want to leave it open to you guys. If you have any suggestions for stickers you want to see on the car, they're easy enough to make and cut and then stick on the car. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'll pick like any of them if they're funny and uh, slap them on the car. If you have suggestions for like other logos that you would want me to kind of, like re-engineer um, and then put on the car, we can definitely do that. Put a suggestion down in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram if you have a cool idea. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this video. I was gonna keep it pretty short anyway. Just walk you guys around the car because I, you know, I had a lot of people asking me on Instagram. So um, that's pretty much all that's done to it. And it was just for uh, like a quick little track day. But um, yeah. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and like it if you did. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this car or car edits and stuff like that in the future. Uh, follow me over on Instagram for this car. It's Apex Pixel. I'll put it on screen, but it's Pixel without the E or the I. If that made sense. And then my normal thing is just Apex Pixel for all of like my normal photography. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's all I've got for you. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.